Hey everyone, and welcome to another Pokemon card video! Today, we'll be opening the Xerneas and Eviltal Battle Arena. This thing is a little bit different. I've never actually opened a Battle Arena before, but this has got two complete decks inside. I don't know what else is in here, so we'll figure that out. But first, I want to give a shout out to this awesome guy. So let me let me step back real quick. So back on Monday, uh, actually my, my birthday was yesterday, but back on Monday, Clevy and I actually celebrated then because Clevy was busy yesterday. And during that, we took a stop by her work, and one of her co-workers' sons actually watches my videos, and he was there, so I got to meet him. So that was super awesome. Shoutouts to you, dude. You know who you are. But he also gave me this awesome drawing right here. Gosh dang, it's kind of, it's a little bit hard to see. Pencil drawings are always kind of hard to see on camera, but look at this crud, dude. It's gosh dang me. It's uh, based on my profile picture, but it's got all the cute bears, dude. Look at this crud. We've got Teddy Ursa, Pancham, and Cub Chew up in there. And over here, we've also got Vaporeon, one of my favorite evolutions. So I just thought that was super awesome. And to top it off, guys, I never thought I would be able to say this, but he actually wanted me to sign his Dunsparce as well. So I have now officially signed a Dunsparce. That was awesome, so thank you so much, dude. It's cool to meet you, and let's go ahead and open this right here. Oh, wait, one more thing I want to show you guys. After all that happened, we went to Clebby's parents' house, and they actually had a surprise party for me, and they gosh dang did a pokemon theme thing, which was cool, and Clebby got me this happy birthday pin with Pikachu on it. I thought that was gosh dang awesome. It's got glitter in it, dude. So, I thought that was super cute and sweet, but let's go ahead and actually get to the opening right here. The box is a little bit beat up already. I don't even know how you're supposed to open these things. I guess it opens at the bottom right here. So let's go ahead and peel that off and see what is inside. Oh, okay So you kind of peel it off and then the little thing lifts up in the middle I don't know how to open these some of these packages I'm like how the crud do you open this without completely destroying the packaging while you do so but there we go We got the box out of there. So let's throw that aside Let's go ahead and lift this plastic up and we've got two promos right here So let's take a look at these guys close up. We've got evil tall right there and there is Xerneas this one's got Aurora Gain and Light of Life. And over here we've got Air Crash and Wings of Destruction, X and Y 32, and X and Y 31. Now I believe these two decks, I'm pretty sure these are like specifically built so that if you had two people and you guys really wanted to hop in and play the game, like say you wanted to play with one of your friends or maybe with your parents or whatever the case may be, um, you could just pick this up and you've got two decks ready to play each other right there. So we'll definitely take a look through both of those decks, but let's see what is, else is actually in the box right here. Got some papers. Let's see what that is. Oh, okay. I know what this is. I think I think this is a play mat. So you actually have a mat to play, and I think this is for two people. Most play mats, like the one down here, are kind of built for just one person. I believe this is built for a two-player game right there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to open it up. It's too complicated to open it up. Now, here is a code card. I believe this will open up both decks on the uh, TCG Online, so there's that. Over here, we've got a little thing-a-thing. -a -thing. I, oh, I think this is like some tips. It gives you some tips on how to actually play the decks a little bit better. So there's that. There's actually another product that's like super built to like teach you how to play. I might show that at some point. This one's a little bit more just like hop in and play. It doesn't really walk you through how to play. But uh, it's still a pretty good option there. Over here we've got two sets of damage uh, counters. And it looks like we've got two coins as well. I've got so many Xerneas and Evil Tall coins, but I don't think they're this color, are they? Here we've got the red one, which looks like Evil Tall there. And over here we've got, or Yveltal, however, however you pronounce it. I know that's a pretty controversial pronunciation. There we've also got uh, Xerneas. And also, I know my gosh dang fingernails are really long. I lost my nail clippers, and I haven't been able to find them for like over a week now. So my nails are super long. Uh, eventually I'm just gonna have to go to the store and buy more because I just can't find them So let's go ahead and look through the red deck right here evil tall Let's do that one first from Pokemon Y. So I think this is gonna be 59 cards or maybe 60 What the we've got another dude. There's a second holographic evil tall or evil tall whatever We've got a second one up in here. So that's cool. We've also got a holographic Zoroark right here There is two of those. So we got double holographic Zoroarks and we've also got, yes, the most important thing, dude. We've got, gosh dang, holographic energy cards in these decks. That is so cool. It said somewhere on the box, it didn't show it off, but it said somewhere there's 20 holographics uh, between these two sets. So I'm guessing there's going to be a bunch of these. So yeah, we've got a whole bunch of these holographic energy cards, which I think are just, gosh dang, really cool. 
So if you wanted to have a Swagtacular Dark type deck, there you go. Let's go ahead and move through all these energies. Yes, these do not come pre-shuffled, so you really gotta shuffle them. Uh, most of the theme decks tend to come pre-shuffled, so you're gonna set it down and play right away. This one, you're gonna wanna shuffle these before you go. So we've got some Professor's Letter, some Magnetic Storms, there's a Lysander, two Muscle Bands, and two Professor Sycamores, a couple of Red Cards, a couple of Cassius, a Pokemon Fan Club, two Shauna, two Switches, Energy Retrieval, there's an Ultra Ball, actually two of those guys, we've got a Trevor right there, there's, now we're getting to the actual Pokemon, we've got two Inke, there's two Malamar, there's three Scraggy, and uh, two Scrafty, let's see, we've got three Zorua, and two Skaroopy, two Drapion, and two more Evil Tall, bringing you up to four of these guys in total, although these are actually different cards, so it's the same Pokemon, the same HP, uh, the same weakness resistance, the same retreat cost, but they do have different attacks right there, so they are a little bit different. So there you go, there's the first deck. It's uh, Just so you guys know, if you've never really played Pokemon TCG, uh, you can have up to four copies of an individual card within a deck. So I'm kind of surprised that they only have four for Evil Tall. They don't have like four for Zoroa, anything like that. But same for the Xerneas, we've got another of the holographics. We've also got a holographic Carvink. And there's a Holographic Aromatisse. So that one had two Zoro arcs. This one actually has some variety in the Holographics, which is cool. And here we've got those super awesome Shiny Fairy Energy cards. And I'm guessing, yes, once again, we're going to have six of those guys. And then we've got some more regular Fairy-type energies right there. This time we've only got one Professor's Letter. We've got one Fairy Garden. Nope, two Fairy Gardens. One Lysander. Two Hard Charms. Two Professor Sycamores. We've got an Evo Soda, two of those guys, two Pokemon Center Ladies, one Pokemon Fan Club, two Tiranos, two Full Heals, two Energy Retrievals, two Ultra Balls, a Trevor, and now to the Pokemon, we've got two Furfrous, but different kinds, we've got the pink one and the brown, or is that orange, red, I don't know what color that is, but they've got the same attacks, they're the same Pokemon, just different art right there, which I think is still pretty gosh dang cool. They've actually got really different numbers, they're from completely different sets even. 87 out of 106 from Flashfire, and then 33 out of 39, which is just built for the decks. So that's kind of cool, even though they're the same Pokemon there. We've got an Eevee, two of those guys. We've got two Sylveon as well, very cool. We've got some Jigglypuff action, three of those guys. Two Wigglytuff to go with those. We've got some Spritzies to go with that Aromatisse. And another Carbink, this one's not holographic. There's a couple of Mr. Mime. And to round it off, of course, we've got some more Xerneas. We've actually got two of these guys. Let's go get the uh, regular one out so you guys can see the difference there. So once again, same everything except for the attacks. The attacks are different, so kind of the same as the Evil Tall right there, which is pretty cool. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think my favorite thing out of this is the gosh dang shiny energy cards, but pretty cool way to get a bunch of shiny cards. It's just a, a good little pack if you just want two decks just to play each other real quick. You could just buy two theme decks as well. Either way works, but this works too. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. It was pretty fun to open a new type of product here, and I guess we'll see you guys, I think, on Sunday. We've got another pack battle, so I'll see you guys for that. Take care.